Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change the output power settings on the new DJI Digital FPV system. And what I mean by that is change it from say CE mode to FCC mode. That gives you the additional channels as well as the higher power output. Now there are a number of reasons why you may wish to do this. However, I just want to be clear. I do not condone anyone flying this system with an illegal power output. I am simply going to show you how to change it but it is down to you to ensure that you always have the correct region setting that you are in. Now to do this you need to create a text file and place it on the SD card and put it in your DJI Air unit. Now there are up to eight different settings that you can change it to and in this video I'm going to show you how to do it from say CE to FCC. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at what you need to do on your computer. Okay, so to create this text file, I've also put a link to one in the description of this video as well that you can download. But we simply use Notepad to create a text file called naco.text. And within that text file, you simply use a number. And that number represents the output. So for FCC, you would simply put number one. And that will change the E unit to the maximum output with eight available channels. So to create this text file, we're going to open Notepad, simply put number one for FCC and save it as naco.txt. Save that to the root directory of the SD card and that is ready to go. It is as simple as that. Just number one, naco.txt, place it on the SD card. And as you can see, I've placed it on my removable disk, naco, and it's ready to go. Okay, so now to change it from say CE to FCC, I've got the goggles and the E unit turned on. And just to demonstrate this, I'm going to place this into the player settings. And if I move that up to the camera, it's not easy to see, but you can see that there are only four channels available. And that basically means that I am currently in CE mode. So what we're going to do now is leave the goggles turned on. We're going to take the power, off the ear unit and we're going to take the SD card with the file on board place it into the ear unit itself making sure we get it in the right way so the SD card is placed in and again it's got the text file on board and we're going to turn it all back on once it boots up, you may notice that it actually says lost signal and jump to public channel. And what that means is it's actually read the file on the SD card and it's changed it. And if I now go back into the goggles, go into the player menu, you can see that I have a lot more channels available and I have all eight available to select. Now, the thing to understand this, this is when you are in CE mode, you will only have four channels available. When you move into FCC mode, you will have eight channels available. So to tell if you've got eight channels, you have moved it into FCC mode. Now, the thing to understand is once this is done, you do not need to keep that SD card in the ear unit. When it is done, you can take the SD card out and it will remain in that mode that you've changed it to. One last thing to be aware of, if you connect any part of this system, especially the E unit to DJI Assistant to update the firmware, it will reset this back to your correct region. However, all you have to do is do the process again, put the file on the SD card, place it in the E unit, and it will change it back to the region that you choose. Now again, I am not condoning using any illegal output in your own region. I'm simply showing you how you can change it. That's it for this video. Um, I hope it's been useful. If you've liked it, please do subscribe to the channel. There's a button in the bottom right hand corner over by there. Um, if you like what you see, please check out the links in the description as well. That's it. Thank you for watching and I will do another one again soon. Please do subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos we have available. They are also split into playlists to help you easily find the ones that are relevant to you. If you would like to support the channel, please check out the links that are in the description for each video. You will find the links for the products we've been talking about and it's only by you guys purchasing via these links that allows us to keep making videos and buy products to talk about in the future. Please also check us out and follow us on all of the social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. We're beginning to build these accounts up and whilst it is early days, I would appreciate it if you would like, share and follow us on these platforms. 
Finally, please also check out my website, www.madrc.com. Now, this is somewhere that we've been putting some of our blog posts and things like that over the last couple of years. So if you're interested in having a look, please do go check it out. That is it. Please do click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And I will do another video again soon.